Renewed Beginnings, Day 14. The Gemara tells us that a person should always ask for mercy, that he doesn't get sick. Because if he does, we tell him, now you have to bring a merit to be exempt from this sickness. In other words, it's not easy to merit the refuah once you have the sickness. Better to listen to the radio for traffic updates and avoid the traffic than get stuck in it. Because once you're in it, you can't get out of it. If it's so important to avoid the danger, then why isn't there a blessing in Amidah not to get sick? Why is there a blessing to heal us, but not one as a preventative measure? Let's answer this question with another question. If our deal has been sealed on Yom Kippur, then what's the point of praying for Parnassah and Refuah all year? Isn't it a blessing in vain? If it was already decided how much money we're going to make, and if we're going to be healthy, then what's the point of saying the blessing? This question is not mine. It's a question of Tosafot. One answer he gives is that you can still pray for the refuah even though it's been decreed that you will get sick. You can still pray for Parnassah even though it was decreed you will lose money. His second answer is the heartfelt tefillah from the, bo- from the depth of your soul can remove any decree even after it's passed. Not just sickness, but Parnassah problems, Shalom Bayi problems, children problems, and of course, life problems. Praiseworthy is the person who treats these 40 days with seriousness. You're not being asked to turn into the Baba Sali or to flip in one day. It's day after day along the path. Man has to show the Creator that he wants to change and tread the right path. Hashem, you gave me eyes to see, but what am I doing with those eyes? Am I reading Sefarim? Am I reading Torah? Or am I reading magazines and watching movies I shouldn't watch? You gave me ears to hear. Am I listening to the Shiurim? the rabbis derasha, or am I listening to Lashon Hara and jokes? Think about it and answer honestly, and I'll meet you tomorrow.